Hello my 9th grade champions and welcome to your summary under 10 minute session with me. Today we'll be going over a poem which is A Legend of the Northland by Phoebe Carey. So without further ado, let's get to it. Now, if any of you haven't read the poem yet or would like to give it another read before we go into the summary, pause here and then come back. Let's get to the summary now. In the first stanza, the poet has described Northland. She says that far away in the region of North Pole, there is a place named Northland. In the Northland, the days are smaller and nights are longer during the winter season. The people of Northland could not sleep as the nights were cold and long since Northland is a very cold place. The poet says that whenever the snow falls in the region, the people of Northland tie their reindeers to the sledges. Reindeer is the species of deer found in the polar region. She further says that the children look like the babies of bears when they wear funny, furry clothes during the winter season. The people of the Northland region tell an interesting story to their children. The poet says that she does not believe that the story is true. However, the readers might learn a lesson after listening to this story. Now, the story starts and it goes like this. Once there was a saint by the name of Saint Peter. He used to live in the world and walked around it, giving religious speeches to people just like other saints do. Then, an incident happened. While travelling around the world, Saint Peter came to the door of an old cottage. In the cottage, he saw a small woman who was making cakes. Now, she was baking them on the fireplace. Since Saint Peter had fasted for the day, he was feeling weak and hungry. He was almost losing consciousness due to hunger. The fast was over for the day and he was looking for some food to eat. So he asked the woman to give him a piece of the cake from the store of the cakes that she had baked. The woman was selfish. She thought that all the cakes she had baked were big ones. So she made a tiny cake. But when she baked it, she found it to be large. So she decided not to give that one and bake another cake. This time she took small dough which was smaller than the previous one and then started making it. When she baked it and looked at it, she found that it was the same size as the previous one. So again, she was not ready to give this piece of the cake to Saint Peter. She again started making a new one. This time she took a very small piece of dough. She rolled it flat and baked it as thin as a wafer. But she could not give that thin piece of cake to Peter owing to her greed. The woman said that when she eats her cakes, she feels that they are small. But now, when she has to give a single cake, she considers them to be large ones. Hence, she decided not to give the cake at all and put it on the shelf. After watching all of this, Saint Peter became angry. He was very hungry and weak. The selfish woman was not ready to give even a single piece of the cake to the saint. This behaviour of the woman had provoked the saint and Saint Peter said to the woman that you are too selfish. You are not meant to live the human life. You do not deserve food, house and fire to keep you warm. You have become so selfish that you are not ready to share these resources with anyone not even with needy people. Saint Peter cursed the woman and said she would become a bird and just like the birds build their homes by boring into the wood, she would also build her home in a similar way. She will get a little food to eat. She has to work hard throughout the day and only then would she find some food to eat and dry wood to live. As Saint Peter cursed the woman, she did not get a chance to speak anything in her favour. 
she went through the chimney and flew out from it in the form of a bird. The woman turned into a woodpecker bird due to the curse of Saint Peter. The woman was wearing a red color cap when she was transformed into a bird. Interestingly, the bird also had a bright red color cap on its head. Everything other than the cap was burned in the fire. Her clothes were burned and became black like coal in the fire. All the people who live in that region and even schoolboys have seen this type of bird in the woods. She lived in the tree for the whole day and dug the wood for her food. Older people narrate this story to their young children and teach them not to be greedy in their life. That brings us to the end of the summary and analysis of the poem. Hope it was made clear to you. Now before I say goodbye, just a few reminders. Enroll for Ante, it's free. You can take the test online or offline and you already know you might get a 100% scholarship. You'll know your All India rank, you'll get cash rewards and you might also win a trip to NASA. So what are you waiting for? Enroll, link is in the description. As always, we've got you covered. All you need to do is like, subscribe and press the bell icon if you liked the video, like everything that we're making for you and would like to keep up with all the sessions that are coming up. So, see you next time.